So back in the day, cigar workers spent a lot of their time in here. This was a social club for immigrants, particularly from this part of northern Spain, called Asturias. If you've ever driven on North Nebraska Avenue, odds are you've seen this building to your right. When I officially did like a tour, I was like, oh my goodness, you don't realize it's a huge three-story building from the outside. You don't realize everything that's in it and how grand-esque it is. Centro Asturiano's Maggie Massengill took us inside this historic Ybor City gem. The whole idea was that everyone who worked locally in Ybor for the cigar factories, no matter what you were doing, you would do your day job and then you would come here and you know, you'd gather just like family. She tells me the Centro was built in 1902. In 1911, that original building was actually destroyed in a fire before reopening back up in 1914. We built a hospital so our members had, you know, health insurance and benefits they could get through that. <laughs> and while it no longer has a hospital, you may be surprised to know, members still use the facility, spending their days in the library or playing dominoes in the cantina. We still allow people to legally smoke cigars in here, which is really cool, especially to time peace to Ybor City. We have a beautiful picture of Al Lopez. Like I said earlier, he was a member back in the day. Now the Centro even rents out its different rooms and salons, like the Grand Ballroom on the third floor for weddings and special events. It's great because you can see all the different pieces of life that come in here, and it's the same, same feel that you got 109 years ago. One of the biggest draws the Cigar Workers Theater on the second floor. You have the huge stage, you have the beautiful chandelier, the lights go dim, like you're at a massive production. Hosting productions like concerts and orchestra shows for the public to come and enjoy. And it's that support, Maggie says, that's keeping the doors of this gorgeous piece of history open. Whether you're actually a part of it or not, or had you know relatives who are, it's an amazing piece that people can come in and kind of be like, wow, especially for America, it's pretty old to have this beautiful oh, yeah. history gem right in the middle of Ybor. Centro Asturiano hosts a lot of events throughout the year. Actually, in the next few weeks, they'll have a candlelight concert right here in the theater. And if you want to come to that, I'll have more details on our app. I'm Brianna Villegas, 8 on your side. Centro Asturiano. Nailed it. Better the second time. Nailed it.